six content related requests. 21 user requests. We comply with user request for removal of their own account, request for removal of a deceased user's account from a verified immediate family member or executor, request for removal of an incapacitated user's account from an authorized representative. 22. Additional protection of minors. We comply with Request for removal of an underage account Government request for removal of child abuse imagery depicting, for example, beating by an adult or strangling or suffocating by an adult Legal guardian request for removal of attacks on unintentionally famous minors Alright, so that's the end of the community standards for Facebook now, if I go back to the main page of the Community Standards, they've actually added a new section to it, so I'm going to read that section as well. Alright, now at the bottom they have a new section called Additional Information. Additional Information Stakeholder Engagement Gathering input from our stakeholders is an important part of how we develop Facebook's community standards. We want our policies to be based on feedback from community representatives and a broad spectrum of the people who use our service, and we want to learn from and incorporate the advice of experts. Engagement makes our community standards stronger and more inclusive. It brings our stakeholders more fully into the policy development process, introduces us to new perspectives, allows us to share our thinking on policy options, and roots our policies in sources of knowledge and experience that go beyond Facebook. Product policy is the team that writes the rules for what people are allowed to share on Facebook, including the community standards. To open up the policy development process and gather outside views on our policies, we created the Stakeholder Engagement Team, a sub-team that's part of product policy. Stakeholders Engagement's main goal is to ensure that our policy development process is informed by the views of outside experts and the people who use Facebook. We have developed specific practices and a structure for engagement in the context of the community standards and we're expanding our work to cover additional policies, particularly ads policies and major news feed ranking changes. In this post, we provide an overview of how stakeholder engagement contributes to the community standards. While Facebook is of course responsible for the substance of its policies, Engagement helps us improve those policies and deepen important stakeholder relationships in ways we'll explain. To benchmark our work and help us incorporate best practices in this area, we retain nonprofit organization BSR Business for Social Responsibility. BSR conducted an analysis that has informed our perspective on engagement and that we've used in preparing this post. Who are our stakeholders? By stakeholders, we mean all organizations and individuals who are impacted by and therefore have a stake in Facebook's community standards. Because the community standards apply to every post, photo, and video shared on Facebook, this means that our more than 2.7 billion users are, in a broad sense, stakeholders. But we can't meaningfully engage with that many people, so it's also useful to think of stakeholders as those who are informed about and able to speak on behalf of others. This is why the primary focus on our engagement is civil society organizations, activist groups, and thought leaders in such areas as digital and civil rights, anti-discrimination, free speech, and human rights. We also engage with academics who have relevant expertise. Academics may not directly represent the interest of others, but they are important stakeholders by virtue of their extensive knowledge, which helps us create better policies for everyone. 
How do we incorporate stakeholder engagement into our policy development process? Integrating stakeholder feedback into the policymaking process is a core part of how we work. Though it's important that we not overpromise, we know that what stakeholders seek above all is for their insights to inform our policy decisions.